Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel and today we'll be learning how to create animations right inside Godot engine. So right now we we'll have a 3D scene and we want to be able to create um, an animation of this box moving from this place to that place. So right now to be able to do that, the first thing we want to do is that we have already added the box. So uh, the box is just a very simple mesh. So the next thing we want to add is to right click and we're going to add an animation player so the animation player is actually a node for uh, use for animation playbacks inside Godot engine so I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to click on that and if you look at here you have a current animation uh, there is no current animation in it so to create animation you come down here to the animation and you click on that I'm going to create a new animation and I'm going to call it um, to and through and click OK. So I have this here right now. So once I do this, I have uh, the animation and to be able to animate this, I'm going to uh, select what I want to animate. So I'm going to have this. The animation is actually active here. So I'll select this because that's what, what I want to animate. Uh, right now, I will go down to my transform and if you look at here, you'll have different properties and this key here uh, signifies the things you want to, if you want to animate something, you can be able to actually create that by cl clicking here. So uh, if I click here now, it's going to ask me, um, create a new uh, track. So I'm going to just say, uh, I want to use the busier curve. So I'm going to create that. And right now it's telling me that by this time it should be here. Okay. So um, right now I'm going to, okay, let me just go back. Control Z. Uh, I wanted to start from here. Okay, so I'm gonna start from here. Let me make sure it's not touching down. Okay, that's okay there. So I'll do that again. Click here and create. So I have this. So it's keyframing this particular position that it is right now. Okay, so if you want to be able to rotate it, you can also be able to do that. So now when I go to right now, I have about uh, just one second of animation. So I want to make it two seconds. So if you click here, you can be able to make it up to two seconds. And I can just go to, um, you just drag this to where you want it to be. Make sure you're selecting the box and just drag this to there. So once you do that, you go over here and just click on this and it's going to keep frame the next so you see it goes forward and backwards so to be able to return it back to the place you will go over here we want you to come back to this place so all we can just do is just simply uh, select this click and drag over this so select right click on it and just duplicate and it will just duplicate it over here so you have that there so when you play this animation it goes forward and backwards so because this is a loop animation you have to turn on the loop here animation loop and when you play it it's going to be going forward backwards forward backwards so right now this animation um you can't have really uh control over it yet until you use something else so right now i'm going to add a new thing so i'm going to right click and add uh, animation tree so animation tree is for controlling the animation um the transition of the animation player so you can use to combine various animations together or switch between animations so if you want animation of where this thing is you know uh, behaving in a certain way you can be able to do that so i have this animation tree here and i will just go over here to the tree i'm going to use animation uh, node blend tree this second one here the other one they have to machine other things so i like using this for my normal animation so once you do that you have this and I'm going to assign it the one I want to control. So I'm going to click on this and I just have just one animation player here. So you can actually rename that to whatever you want. Maybe you call it box animation or something. So, um, but we can, we're going to just use the animation player here. So once you do that, it has access to all the animations inside this particular thing here. So to have access to that so that you can be able to play it whenever you like, you can just go to add node and click on animation. And you have that there and you can be able to just connect this and you have the to and fro there so it goes so if you want to be able to have more control over this you can go to something like uh, let's go for our time scale 
and I'm going to remove uh, this and put the time scale here and put this here. So if you look at this, what's happening here, it can reduce this time and it's faster and we can increase and it's a bit slower. So right now what we want to do, uh, let's go in a bit. So we'll have uh, minus, we'll have uh, zero points, are you seeing that? So zero point things here. So when you have zero points, it's going to be a bit slower. So I'm going to go for like, a, let's say zero point seven. So you have something like this It's a bit more or something you can actually be able to pass. Okay. So right now, whenever this game starts, this thing will be playing. Okay. So by that, if you just click on this animation player, it's already active by default. So we don't even have to do anything. It's going to be always active all the time. So if I right click, and play my game. All right, so um, that's all for today. So that's how to use the animation, uh, how to create animations inside Google Engine. So you can be able to actually create any kind of animation that you want and use um, the um, animation a player to animate things, animation tree to be able to have control over those animations. So uh, if you have any question on animation, I uh, would like you to put that in the comments and I will see you in the next video.